Welcome to the Paygate Equid instruction video. Firstly, head off to the App Market and search for Paygate. Then click Paygate, accept payment. Now click Install. You can now enter the Paygate ID and encryption key. Here we've entered the default test details. If enabled test mode is checked, these test details will be used. You can also allow card tokenization or vaulting if you have PayVault on your account. This will allow your customers to check out easily, providing they're logged in, without having to retype their full card details. We'll first do a transaction with this disabled. When checking out with a standard Paygate ID, you'll see something similar to this. When you do a, a test transaction, you may get this warning. And on your live transaction, you'll have your ID here, and you might have adjusted your styling to suit your brand. For now, I'm going to click back to cancel the transaction to show you what a failed transaction looks like. And then we will look at a PayVault tokenized transaction. The message for the payment being declined or cancelled will show in the top right hand corner using standard equity styling. And they will return to the cart where the customer can try once again. I'm now going to enable card tokenization or vaulting. Please note that your customers must be logged in to be able to save their card details to their profile. With PayVault enabled, a user can either use a card and save or use a card and do not save. If they say save, they'll be able to check out with the cardholder name and CVV digits. Let's do a simulated transaction now. We now simulate an OTP for a 3D secure transaction. And there we go. We're going to add another item to our cart so we can demonstrate a tokenized transaction. Your customers can now choose the card that they've saved. They could add a new card or add a card and not save. If they want to delete an existing card, they would simply check here and then click Yes. Let's first demonstrate a pay vault transaction using an existing card. Your user simply has to type their name and their CVV. They'll obviously need to confirm with the OTP for 3D Secure. And that brings them to their order confirmation. Let's demonstrate how to remove a card. To remove a card, they can click delete and confirm with a yes. And that will delete the card. And that's all there is to it.